So, uh, not quite 10. So, but, uh, let's get back to then. Uh, so, Portland, I'm going to assume it's Titchfield High School. Titchfield High School. So, talk a little about your experience at Titchfield and then, like, how you decided to go to Canada or, like, well, chose to go to Canada. Okay, they, 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 um, the Titchfield part is that we went. He took me there and uh, the principal then he didn't spend a whole heap of time and as a principal of Titchfield, Mr. Thompson, I don't, um, but but he, my father had spoken with him. Mm -hmm. and I had a time. Eh? Yeah, I had a time, made arrangements. Mm -hmm. I, I should say this for my, my father had made arrangements with him. And um, I had a, I had a lot of uh, 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 negatives um, in, in the whole idea. First, I was too old. For, for for high school to be in, taken into high school not being transferred from another high school uh, those days they were strict in that sort of thing um, then you know I was coming out of a primary school at that age without any exposure to high school I, I, I had all those uh, but I the principal at uh, Morningside Elementary, oh God, R. Um, R. S. Gordon, mm -hmm. is his name, Mr. Gordon, or R. G. Gordon, R. S. R. S. Roy Sylvester Gordon. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, he 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 was he loved me, and he did it, he, everything. He wrote a beautiful resume and recommendation and, and so on and tell what the type of students I am and, mm. and ambition and so on and so on. He, he gave me a real a write, -up. write up on the papers and so on. So all of that. But the long and short of the story is that I was accepted, but I could not go into class. I had to, and there were three of us that were like that. We were placed into a room and give them a whole heap of tests mm -hmm. and give them private tutelage and then on weekends i had to work hard man on weekends there were about four teachers that uh, would give me extra classes and um, and so on so that i come up i was good in math not not very good in math but i was very good in english very mm -hmm. good in geography excellent in history uh, and, and, and religious knowledge i i, I was good in those uh, but um, the science subjects, I was weak. Mathematics, I was just barely. Uh, so I, I had to get on par. But by the end of that school year and the beginning of the next school year, I was now able to go into class uh, with, with the other students. So about how many of you students like, had the private tutoring? and weren't in the regular class? Uh, there were three of us that, that I can recall. Um, one of them did the job. I, I think we sort of scattered uh, because they were not all living in Port Antonio. They were mm -hmm. coming in and out. But, but I live right there near to the school. I, I live very, very close to the school. I live right across from the Pitchfield Hotel. Okay. Uh, right near to- You might have been in? Eh? Is that hotel called the De Monte Bin Inn? No, no. The De, De Monte Inn the right up there, that's called the shop, the, the uh, Titchfield Hill. Oh, right. But the hotel burned down, and that was on Queen Street, right down from Monte Bin, uh, uh, down okay. toward Titchfield. Okay. Uh, and uh, and uh, that was the glory, glory days of Port Antonio, man, the Titchfield Hotel, and the, right. and, and the ships coming by Titchfield. And, and okay, and all that. But um, I, I, I did well. I did well, and I wrote. I couldn't go up for senior Cambridge. Um, I, I, I wasn't for the age right. and how senior Cambridge was. And senior Cambridge, you have to take all the subjects, you know. Oh. Science, math, everything. Religion. You have okay, to take all okay. of it. And you were deficient in some of the subjects, right? Areas. But but. GCE was just coming in. Mm -hmm. GCE Cambridge and GCE La London. London was just coming in. It's after the war and things have changed now. And they were just coming in. And those who could take subjects, 
Right. You can take individual subjects. Individual subjects or as many of the subjects you could. And so I was sent up for um, for six subjects uh, in the in, in, in the GCE and um, math I, I did fairly but, but I did math I did um, history English geography uh, religious knowledge and um, literature I did those and I I came out good mm. I came out good but it so happened unfortunately or fortunately I, I don't know which uh, my father had a house in Puerto Antonio it was a guest house and um, I lived there and he had a caretaker a lady who manages the guest house and, and, and he'd come and he came and so but it was a, a different type of relationship uh, that was but while I was writing exam my father comes and he says okay they're selling this house and we have to move back to Kingston and so within a week right after my exam I wrote the last exam wow. I wrote the last exam on Friday and on Monday morning we all moved back to Kingston never even get to say goodbye to my friends and, and even to the principal and some of my teachers and so on uh, but I also had a lot of, um, of people who showed interest in me. Um, there was an Anglican priest, and, and I owe my Christianity to an extent to him. Um, you, you probably uh, might have heard the name. Uh, he's an Anglican priest in Port Antonio, but he taught at Pitchfield. He was a chaplain at Pitchfield. Right? Um, a canon R.O.C. King, Rock. Yeah, that's right. King, King, Canon King. He 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 taught me Bible knowledge, and he was saying to some of us young men about the ministry. It's the first time we hear about ministry, and, right. and that sort of that's thing. That's a right? And then after I came back to Kingston, about well, two years after I came back to Kingston, was in 1958, I remember. Um, 58, yeah. Billy Graham crusade. Uh, came to Kingston and um, Kenan King I, I, I was I had made contact with him and um, he was the head of the ocean he used me I wasn't even a Christian or anything I know was this for a Keswick convention no man a Billy Graham crusade oh, the, 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 Billy Graham the, 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 the crusade the evangelistic first crusade. evangelistic crusade yeah. and I, I worked in that as a um, usher as an usher a colleague offering and direct people to the sea. It was really a wonderful thing. But Kenan, Kenan King was um, was one of my mentors there in, the, in that. Um, then I come back to Kingston. And my father arranged for me to take private lessons to bolster up on the subjects that I was weak in. Right. And, um, and so on. And the, the man who was to teach me turned out to have been the um, half-brother of P.J. Pattison. I, mean, I, I met P.J. Pattison from, from, from way my back prime minister. Then. From way back then, he was going to UC. But his, my father had the, the, the place on Trevenian Park Road. It's a great big house, big property. And he had a number of cottages uh, uh, on the property that he rented out. Mm -hmm. And, um, and one of them was Mr. Henry, Don Carter Henry, he was a half brother of PJ Paddis. And he was part of the Gainstead High School in Kingston. And my father arranged with him for, to take me as a part time student at right. um, Gainstead. But that didn't work out, so I um, took tutoring from him privately some of our other students on evenings and weekends uh, are there but I never sit any of his exams then the exam after that so I really had uh, six good subjects and that, that was enough to have taken me onward uh, from there 
I, my father arranged for me to have a job, to get a job, and I got a job in the income tax office. Oh, you were a tax collector? <laughs> no, I was the tax collector at <laughs> all. <laughs> so I got the, the, that whole thing, you know, um, I was placed in the filing department. And oh my goodness, um, the filing department was where everybody, every taxpayer's file is kept. And <laughs> talk about this organization. I look back at that place and I start off. <laughs> files were misplaced, files couldn't be found, you know, and so on. And I was placed. Eventually, um, they, they, I recommended and they accepted that that we closed down uh, the thing for a weekend and a number of staff to come like on Saturday and Sunday so and revamp the whole filing system because you couldn't find files, thousands of files but you couldn't find them. They, they were supposed to be numbered and put into sequence and um, I was placed into that and when it was done I was given the head of the of the filing department. I was responsible to, mm -hmm. uh, to take in files and to file them back. Right. And uh, my, I learned a lot of figures from that. So when I, uh, there were people like Kitty Sharp, who was responsible for the Jamaica um, netball at that time. And Miss Jamaica World's mother, Mrs. Crawford. That's Cindy Crawford. Cindy Crawford's um, so right. this is where in 1963. Right. Her mother was, 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 was a, a, a good, close, and encouraging person. To me as well. So, so I, I had a lot of that. My Christianity? Yeah, when, like, when did that happen? Well, I was now uh, working six pounds a week. <laughs> 24 hours, <laughs> uh, six pounds a week, and I had a bicycle, I bought a bicycle, and, and so on. But I had some friends who, their co workers, and, and some, some other friends, who at lunchtime would go to the parish church. And the parish church used to, and they used to have um, meditations and um, concerts and, and so on, lunchtime at the parish church. And we would eat our bun and cheese or a little patty or whatever it's for lunch and go and take in that in. And that, that was very good and wholesome. But my, um, my real involvement came when some friends of ours, friends of mine, I began to go to Youth for Christ. That was part of that too. Um, and Saturdays at Coke Hall, mm -hmm. uh, downtown Kingston. And anyway, we were invited, three of us, uh, my, my nephew and a Chinese fellow named Victor Chin, who his father, his parents owned the ice cream parlor and what have you, at Torrington Bridge. Very good young man. And really was. But we were invited to a house party, which was a common thing. There. And at that house party, they had a group of, uh, of children, boys, for what was called the Jamaica Christian Boys Home. And they put on entertainment, sang, recited scriptures, so all sorts of, of that sort of thing. We were very impressed. And at the end of it, the, the Hergets were, were there, Mrs. Hergett especially with the boys. Tell us about the youth group that they had at the church and a church and invited us to to come so we were impressed with that boy's home and we decided three of us we decided that we would visit the youth group mm -hmm. and that is how we become involved how old were you then uh at that time i was 18. 18. yeah remember i had um i gone to Titchfield for two years right and i come back now yeah. And uh, working at the tax office. Working at the tax office. And were you living at your father's right? Right. Yeah. I was living there. And um, so well, okay. well accepted and embraced. Everybody now knew. Okay, so well, well, yeah, there was no live, no right. secret anymore. When I came back from Port Antonio, 
the whole everything was laid bare. Everything was laid bare. Uh, and, 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 and so uh, it was out of that that I became a Christian. Out of that, that I became a Christian. Wait, out the, of the, the Christian boys. Like the Christian boys. Home. Um, and um, I was baptized. Which church were is was that Hope Field or? Uh, Hope Field came out of the Jamaica Christian Boys Home. The the, the chapel was. The the boys' home had a chapel. Okay. It was called Memorial Chapel. Memorial Chapel. And um, the minister at that time was. Mr. Herget and his assistant was Gerald Murphy. And Gerald Murphy left for a while and came back. Um, so so you started your Church of Christ Christian experience at, at the Jamaica the Christian Memorial Church. At the, the Memorial Chapel. Memorial Chapel right. with the Hergets. Right, with the Hergets. Um, it, 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 was, it was a time and a, a great youth, youth, youth group. We had a great youth group. About, about um, I can recall about eleven of us. What other youth group went to college, to Bible college, um, including uh, Brother Baker. You know Brother Baker, mm -hmm. right? Brother Baker. Uh, I, I went first, and then after that, uh, Brother Baker went. So and he came back. Were the Hergets from Canada? No, the Hergets were. Um, from the United States, they were from the United States. So how, how can they have come here for a, as a mission? Well, I got close to the Hergets, and um, the whole idea of going to Bible college came out of the idea of a, when we had camp of a, nine palms, we call it, mm -hmm. up about Clermont. Um, they were having that camp one weekend, and we were. Uh, then you know um, there and, and she spoke with a number of us and tell us that we should mm -hmm. consider the ministry and what Canon King had told us mm -hmm. about that and so I came back into four and yeah, stim but stimulating but oh Canada since these were Americans when 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 it, the idea to go to college came there was a possibility of going to the States. There's a possibility of going to Canada. There are two things why we, Canada came into the room. Uh, the first one was, as a Commonwealth citizen, I didn't need any papers to, to go, go to Canada. Canada, only to get a study visa uh, from the Canadian Council. Okay. And, um, and the second thing is that there was a Jamaican that had gone to Canada before by the name of Clifford Edwards. And, um, and he had studied at that college and came back to Jamaica. In, in Alberta? Yeah, he had gone there. So I wasn't the first person to have gone to Alberta. Oh, okay. Um, but he had gone and he did very well, although he made a mess of things after he got back here. But the Canadian treated him like a, a king. And, um, and so it was out of that that I got to go to Canada. As a matter of fact, Three of us were to have gone to Canada, um, but the other two, Albert Dawkins, his papers were turned down. He didn't have enough sponsorship. Mm -hmm. um, to have done that. So he went to England.